In today's video, we'll be providing you with the fuel pump fuse and fuel pump relay locations for your 1997 Ford Ranger. We'll also step you through the process of how to test both the fuse and the relay. In order to locate the power distribution box, open the hood. The fuse box is located on the driver's side. Remove the access panel to reveal the fuses and relays. The fuel pump fuse is a 20 amp fuse. It is fuse number three on the fuse box diagram. The actual physical location of the fuse is shown in the picture. Please keep in mind that this fuse powers both the fuel system and the anti-theft system. The type of fuse used for this component is a maxi fuse. We'll leave a link down in the description below of where you can get some replacement fuses. Next, we'll show you how to use a multimeter to verify whether or not your fuse is good. This is how you perform a resistance test using a digital multimeter. First, set your multimeter to resistance mode. Second, after making sure your test probes are in the correct ports and verifying your tool is configured correctly, touch one of your leads to one side of the fuse and touch your other lead to the other side of the fuse. If your display shows OL or doesn't change, this means the fuse is bad. If your display shows zero or virtually zero resistance, this means your fuse is good. If this information has helped you out, do us a huge favor and smash that like button right now and consider subscribing. We'd really appreciate it. Here's the fuel pump relay. The actual physical location of the fuel pump relay is shown in the picture. Here you see a picture of a standard 5 pin 12 volt relay. Ford has used a specific relay for a number of years across a wide range of vehicles. If you look on the side of the relay, you'll see the pin assignments. Using this information, we can test the relay by supplying our own inputs and monitoring the outputs using a multimeter. Pins 85 and 86 are the control side of the relay. We can provide our own power and ground as shown in the diagram. Pins 87 and 30 are the load side of the relay. If the relay is good, when we apply a power and a ground to the control side of the relay as shown in the picture, we should see continuity of virtually zero resistance on pins 87 and 30. The relay is bad when we apply a power and a ground to the control side as shown in the picture. We'll see OL or no chains on our multimeter display. When bench testing relays and other components like this, we recommend the Power Probe 3. We've owned this tool several years and have many videos showing it in action. The Power Probe 3 makes it very convenient to apply power and grounds when testing components. If your relay is bad and you end up needing to replace it, we'll provide links to some replacement relays down in the description below. As a DIYer, when it comes to getting access to information that will assist you with servicing and maintaining your own vehicle, we recommend Mitchell One DIY. With Mitchell One DIY, you get not only access to quality in-depth wiring diagrams for your vehicle, but you also get component locations, component tests, technical bulletins, and much more. If you'd like to learn more about the service, please see the link down in the description below for more details. Once you get on the Mitchell One website, be sure to check out the free demo of everything that's included in your product subscription. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, hit that subscribe button and click that bell so anytime we drop a new video, you'll be the first to know. Hit that like button and leave me some comments. I'd love to hear from you. If you're interested in any of the products we used in today's video, we'll leave some links down below. Hope you have an awesome day and thanks for watching.